Hi, how can I help you today? Hi, I can't seem to leave a wink for someone. Okay, uh, I'm looking at your profile. You left a lot of this stuff blank. Well, I haven't really been anywhere noteworthy or mentionable. Have you done anything noteworthy, mentionable? Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? She's gonna blow! Go! Go! God, you're noteworthy! You still there? I just, like, zoned out for a second. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good. How are you doing? How was the experience this time behind the camera? Uh, it was uh, great. It was a you know all-encompassing, full experience. So why? What do you mean? How? Why? Just to you know, it was been working on the movie for a long time, and there was a lot of different movies within this movie. You know, there was the reality, there were the fantasies, there were the uh, you know the, the trip out into the world. So there was just a lot of different. Um, Areas to, a lot of moving to focus parts on. this time. Yeah, which was which was fun and really challenging, and it was you know a great experience, a really great bonding experience with all the people that made the movie together. Okay. Why though? What made you decide to redo the movie? I just I read this version. I'd read I read other scripts that were trying to remake the original movie, and the script that Steve Conrad wrote, and he's a very uh, I think he's a very special writer. He writes a tone that has humor, but it also has, it's also real, but it's also uh, kind of sometimes cynical and then also sometimes very heartfelt and it didn't fall into one genre. And okay. he was exploring the idea of this character that to me related a lot to the original short story that Thurber wrote. Okay, so you like the link that this took more to the actual yeah. story than the Yeah, not trying it wasn't trying to remake remake this okay. classic musical comedy that I don't think you can really improve upon for that that genre of movie. Hey, right, nice, nice. Now one of the things in this movie is the character sort of has like this a different sort of relationship with his dad. And of course, your dad was in the business for forever. Mm -hmm. What's the greatest piece of advice he ever gave you? Uh well, he's always said, um, make sure you get your rest. That's a big piece of advice he gives me <laughs> over and over again. So how and he's kind of right. Um, how do I do that? As the star, director, <laughs> I, how I do know. you get, I mean, seriously, um, how do you do <laughs> Ambient, no. Uh, I'm not good on Ambient. Uh, no, you know, I, he, what else? He's, he's just, you know, he's been a supportive dad. My, both my parents are incredibly supportive. I feel very fortunate, like, the, just their, the, they supported me and my sister in doing what we wanted to do in life and knowing being in show business, I think they knew the ups and downs of it, but they okay. were always there for us. So they prepped you for it very well. Yeah, yeah, you know, just by their, their example, they're really hardworking and uh, you know, very talented and good, just generous, good, good people. They set that example. Okay. Harmony? Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? Uh, not much. How have you been? Good. It's, uh, it's early here. I just got up, man. I was thinking about you. Where are you? Los Angeles. Hey, uh, so your profile still hasn't received any winks, even though I put that you've been to Phoenix. Oh, I, uh, I jumped out of a helicopter yesterday into the ocean and had a shark fight. Yeah, yeah, L listen, I was mentioning before people who daydream too much, they're not content. No, it was real. I really did. Really? Now I'll put down adrenaline junkies. What, what kind of a shark? Was it like a... Hey, Todd, I can't really talk right now. I'm on my way to a volcano. What the... Well, much like the character, what's that one thing still out there that you're chasing, dying to do, that you mm -hmm. haven't done, that would just thrill you to death? Wow. Uh, I'd like to go uh, diving with sharks. Well, you did that in the movie. Yeah, I know, real sharks. Oh, so yeah. you mean like seriously? Do yeah, that, yeah, like go crazy. Yeah. I know, I did do that in the movie, right? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, no, I, I, I really want to do that. I've been, I've, I've been, uh, I went swimming with whale sharks once. Okay, but you want to actually go diving with shark sharks? Shark sharks, but like I could be in a tank, you know, okay, or right, in a cage I'm, I'm or whatever. I'm glad you prefaced that. I'd all be right. in a cage. Okay, but still, that's what you want to do. Yeah, when you throw the raw meat and the blood flows around to get, around a little, to get their attention. Yeah, and like, hey, hi, shark. Frenzy action. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can do that. That okay. would not be on my list, but you know, have have fun at that. I'm, I'm sure your you insurance me, like, policy is a little better than mine. So, I don't know. Maybe I can check up on it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Right. So, like, and like the character. I mean, do you, you know, as a director, actor, you have to have mm -hmm. a pretty creative imagination. Do you find yourself daydreaming a lot in real life? 
Uh, I don't tend to. I tend to just zone out a lot. If I'm not paying attention equals daydreaming, I definitely do that. Um, <laughs> I guess I, by yeah. definition you could call I, it that. <laughs> I mean, what it is is I, I'll, if I'm working on a movie, like this movie, I, you know, I, I've been working on it for a couple, over a couple of years, and so like there are times when, when we're prepping, where I just be thinking about it, I just go okay. off into thinking about it, or if I'm editing it, I'll just start editing it in my mind, and then my daughter will say, Dad, hello, we're Come here, back, right? we're real people. <laughs> How cool you. was it to shoot in Iceland? It was amazing. It's uh, an amazingly beautiful and rugged place, and I felt like it sort of, um, you know, it imbued the movie with its spirit because it, that that place just has this feeling that's uh, like you're, you know, you're somewhere very special. And and for us, the adventure of making the movie was great because we had to go to all these places. Yeah, I know that'd be yeah. a cool part about the business. See, that's yeah. on the top of my list. I would love to go to Iceland. Yeah, I think that would be incredible. And Iceland's cool. a very accessible place. You know, it's close. It's not as far as you would think. It's a small country. It's about the size of Kentucky. You can drive around on a motorcycle or something. Yeah, that's, now you forced me to have to put the graphic of Iceland and Kentucky. And Kentucky so <laughs> right, there you go. Have the, the reference, number one, of what Kentucky even looks like but and the, how large right. it is. And there's <laughs> only about 500,000 people in the whole country, too. So That's cool. All right, yeah. it's at the top of my list. I'm headed right. there. A couple more of these interviews, no yeah. money in the bank. All right. <laughs> Thanks yeah. a lot, man. Great, right. no, great movie.